Hi, I'm Madison Whitford, and for my Picturing an Ecologist project, I will be talking about Warder Clyde Ale. Um, Ale was known as one of the fathers of the discipline of ecology, and he ranks among some of the leading 20th century ecologists and is known for his work in behavioral and animal ecology. Warder Clyde Ale was born on June 5th, 1985, in a farm in Bloomingdale, Indiana, and was head of his class in schooling before university. Um, when he was 17, he taught country school for a year and then the fifth and sixth grades at Bloomingdale Elementary for another year. For his training in 1908, he received his bachelor's at Earlham College. In 1910, he received his master's um, from the University of Chicago and his PhD in 1912, again from the University of Chicago, studying under Victor Shelford. In his professional experiences, he was the instructor in botany at the University of Illinois from 1912 to 1913. From 1913 to 1914, he was an instructor in zoology at Williams College. At 1914 to 1915, he was a professor um, of zoology at the University of Oklahoma. And then for five years, he was a summer instructor at the Marine Biology Laboratory at laboratory at Woods Hole, Massachusetts. And that was from 1914 to 1921. 1915 to 1921, he was also a professor of biology at Lake Forest College. And in 1921, he was hired as an assistant professor of zoology at the University of Chicago. And I would just like to note that in 1923, Ale began to write a series of papers that were later published um, that I will mention later on. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to mention that he started writing those then. In 1925 to 1927, he was a dean in the colleges at University of Chicago. And then from 1928 to 1950, he was a professor of zoology at the University of Chicago. Um, so he moved up from a assistant professor of zoology there to the professor. Um, 1928 to 1954, he was an editor in um, the writing or the published physiological, physiological zoology. And then in 1929, he was a president of the Ecological Society of America. For his publications and major life events, in 1931, he publishes his Animal Aggregations, a study in so general sociology. In 1936, he was um, the Ameri Ameri he was the president, sorry, of the American Society of Zoologists. In 1938, he has surgeries for a spinal tumor and becomes paralyzed from the waist down, but he still publishes later on that year the um, Social Life of Animals. In 1940, he was honorary LLD at Earlham College. In 1949, he was the first author of the Principles of Animal Ecology. From 1950 to 1955, he was a chairman of the zoology department at the University of Florida. In 1951, he was elected um, to the National Academy of Sciences. And then unfortunately, he dies at Gainesville, Florida on the 18th of March, 1955. Um, Ale is really known for his Ale effect. He dedicated his life um, to researching the benefits of organisms and their interacting populations. So he really wanted to focus on the individuals in a group setting rather than individually. Um, in this, he was able to discover the positive correlation between population density and individual fitness of a population or species. Um, so that is really what he's known for as well as some of his social implications um, which would involve his social activism, religious beliefs, and opposition to war. Um, but I would like to kind of focus this on more of his um, scientific achievements. But I did like to know that there were some um, implications socially with him. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit to end this on why I chose Ale for this project. When I was looking at multiple ecologists um, to research and be able to talk about, he really stuck out for me just because of his passion, and that really became apparent to me whenever I saw that he continued um, teaching and publishing um, what he was passionate about even after his spinal injury. He had a tumor, um, which I kind of mentioned earlier, that he got removed and left him paralyzed from the waist down, so he was in a wheelchair, but continued to do what he was passionate about. So I just wanted to share some of his achievements and um, note that he was considered and still is considered um, one of the founders of ecology based off of everything he was doing. So thank you.